Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you like hauls and DIY videos. Now if you're into fashion, then you know the slides are popular. Every store has different versions of their own slides. And of course, being a DIY fanatic, I had to make and create my own. So I created three different slides and I show you step by step how to do it. Go ahead and click the like button if you like the outcome of each slide and comment below and let me know which one you like the best. Let's get started. So I brought a few pairs of slides. First, I got a pair from Walmart in the boys section for $5.98. The next pair of slides I got from the boys section as well from Marshalls for $7.99. I love these the most because it ended up being the easiest because it has a smooth surface on the side. So it was very easy to adhere the material to the slide. The last pair of slides I got was from Marshalls as well for $7.99 and this was in the women's section. Okay, so let's get started with the material. Now, I did not end up using all of these, but they are great examples of what you could find at your local craft store, such as Joe and Fabric, Hobby Lobby, and Michael. Each piece of fabric I found were actually located in the felt section of the craft store. Now with these pieces of felt, they rang out to be about less than $2 each and they're good for each pair of slides. The smaller piece of fabric was actually from the dollar store and this bling sticker sheet was from the scrapbook section at the craft store. Next, you're gonna need some embellishments. With the embellishments, I literally took a look around my room, see what I had. I took this patch off of an old cell phone case. Won't need that anymore. And I have these felt stickers. This sticker pack was found at Michael's and it comes with letters and numbers. So that's pretty awesome. Now, I used to do a lot of jewelry making. With that being said, I have a lot of old charms. With the charms, they do come with loopholes to attach to chains. Now, I was able to simply take a pair of scissors and bend back the loops until I was able to simply snap it off and adhere them to the shoe. Next, I have some buttons. I did not end up using these, but they're a great example to add to slides as well. And of course, iron-on patches. Those are always great. Okay, oh wait with those. Last but not least, I have some E6000 glue and our handy scissors. Let's get started. Okay, so right now I'm just laying out the shoe to determine what I'm going to do with them. After a little bit of brainstorming, I realized that because this gem sheet is a sticker back, it's gonna be easiest to adhere it to this flat surface. And what made it better is that it already pretty much fit. Now that I know which material I wanna use for this pair slide, I'm taking a marker to mark off the access amount that I will need to cut off to properly fit the shoe. Now that everything is measured, all I'm going to do is apply some glue and adhere the material to the shoe.
So for the next pair slide, I chose to use the peel and stick fabric. I found this at the Dollar Tree, y'all. One dollar holla, okay? So with this, it actually comes in multiple different patterns. But of course, I chose the leopard print. So now I'm just going to cut it down and adhere it to the slide. Last but not least, I'm just adding my embellishment. First, I'm placing down the charms and iron on just to make sure I like where they are at. I'm adding my E6000 glue, making sure I'm getting all the corners. Then I am just adhering it to the slide. <music> to the next pair for the last pair of slides i really love this camo background so i'm going to leave it as is however i am going to add in the word with the felt letters i'm going to spell out the word savage because then they tell you that i was a savage so i started from the center letter of each slide i put a good amount of glue especially to the edges of each letter and i just lay them down and i let them dry mm -hmm. 